Good morning, ladies. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. It's 6.30 in the morning. I had to let the chickens out because the chickens don't know it's Thanksgiving. They just want to come out and do their thing. Hi, friends. My name is Rick, and welcome to my Cape Cod life. We've had our Thanksgiving feast, and I'm going to let the chickens out and walk around the yard and talk about being grateful. Hey, girl. And there she is. Where's Tina? There she is. Hi, crazy Tina. I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to garden and that each season I'm getting better at it. Um, let's take a quick little peek. There's not much left. It's been really cold. Looks like this lettuce took a little cold damage. There was a tiny one over there. I have a couple more in the garden. I still have plenty of cilantro. Lots of parsley. Peas have seen better days. There's chard. And that's broccoli. Oh my goodness. Look at that little tiny little head of broccoli right here. That's crazy. Oh, I see one. It looks like that one's starting to bud up too. I'll put some frost fabric out of this. And then some kale. That's fine. Have some radishes. It's little, but there's another one. It's a funny looking one. That's oregano. I also have a lot of thyme. I'm seeing rosemary still looking good. Marjoram's looking good. So I can clip fresh herbs for a while yet. Some carrots in here, and there's some more cilantro. I think I'll put the frost fabric over them. I don't know that they'll amount to anything, but maybe, depending on how cold the winter is. In a few weeks, I'll need to mulch this. I'll be probably doing that with hay. And that's the asparagus bed. I'll mulch around the roots at the very least. I'll let those um, what do you call those? Those ferns to break down and just fall upon themselves, that's fine. Still waiting for my garlic to sprout, but that'll be happening soon. I'll be mulching that too. I'm slowly adding cardboard in the paths, and I'll be putting some wood chip there. That'll probably have to wait till the spring, but the cardboard can go there now. This is my green stalk that I planted strawberry runners in, and they've all seemed to take in pretty much. Hopefully they make the winter. I am probably gonna take it apart so it's not so tall and somehow I'll mulch it. A lot of cleanup still to do, but we'll get there. Really am. So blessed to have this Cape Cod life. This backyard, you know, I keep wanting to add systems and keep getting better at what I'm doing here. Cause so I'm gonna be retiring in a little bit, a few more years. And I'm gonna have things in place so I can just live here happily ever after in my garden with my chickens. And to that end, I'm grateful for the things that I have added to that plant. I bought these galvanized raised beds. I have these two in front of the deck. I'm pretty sure they're gonna stay there. I have no clue where that round one's going. Um, I have another long one over there. There'll probably be tomatoes and where this green stalk is. I'll probably leave that one, that ring there. And then at the entrance of my garden, I'll have this one. Hey, Mr. Scully. And I'll put this one over here closer. I'm just gonna move all of this stuff. That's a good. And I have one more long bed here. I'm trying to decide how to configure them all. Well, we'll see. You'll have to excuse the dishwasher in the background. We just had a slice of pie. We had chocolate cream. 
what kind of party did you have this year? Well, happy Thanksgiving all. Encouraged me, you have lifted me up and you're always there to support me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm also filled with gratitude for all the abundance I have received from my backyard and the seashore and everywhere else on my beautiful Cape Cod. Please, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and check out my other videos. And as always, my Cape Cod life.